What's up YouTube? In this tutorial I'll be showing you four easy ways to speed up your computer. So let's get started. Okay, to free up the disk space, first you need to click on the start menu, then go to all programs, and then go all the way up to accessories, system tools, and then click on disk cleanup. Remember, this will free up the disk space, which means that it will clean up all the unnecessary and unwanted files. Once you're brought to this window, you, you have to make sure that all these items are checked, and just take the time to do that, and then click OK and then it will ask you if you're sure you want to perform these actions just click yes and just wait for disk cleanup to finish loading and when it's done cleaning up it will automatically close the window like it did just now so this is how you clean up the disk space Okay, the next step is to speed up the access to the data on your PC, which is basically speeding up the time it takes to load up your files. Now to do this, go to the Start menu, then go to All Programs, then go up to Accessories, then System Tools, and finally click on Disk Defragmenter. Now remember, Disk Defragmenter takes about 2-3 to three hours, maybe more, to finish, so... Uh, Make sure you have enough time on your hands before doing this and make sure you're not downloading anything because that will just slow up the process. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to click on defragment. Okay, so just wait up, wait for it to finish analyzing and wait for it to finish defragmenting. And when you're done, a window will be brought up telling you that defragmenter is done. Defragmenting. So right now, just wait for it to finish defragmenting. Once this defragmenter is done defragmenting your computer, this is what you should have on your screen. A window should pop up telling you that defragmentation is complete for whatever drive you selected. Now, in my case, I have the C drive as my main my main drive, so uh, that's why it has a C there. Anyways, you have two options. You can either view the report, which basically tells you how much free space you gained, or you can close and you're pretty much done with this defragmenter. Now I'm just going to show you what it looks like, so I'm going to click the report. Uh, like I said, you see it has free space, use space, and other stuff that you might want to know. Um, anyways, you can save, which I recommend, or you can print your report. Now I highly recommend either doing one of these, uh, and then click close when you're done. and now close this defragmenter because you're done with it and you have finished step two now we are going to attempt to repair any errors that are on your computer so first go to the start menu and click on my computer then under your C drive right click and click properties then under tools click on check now where it says error checking then where it says scan for and attempt recovery of bad sectors make sure that is checked and then click start and then uh, your computer will be checking for any errors that uh, have been occurring so when it's finished you should have no problems with the errors any error windows like that um, so that is how you remove and repair any errors that are on your computer for my final step to making your computer faster we are now going to remove any unnecessary files from your computer these files just take up space in your computer and they're just pointless so now we're going to remove them this step requires a download so just follow my instructions go to the start menu and click on your internet browser in my case I would click on Mozilla Firefox then 
go to your search bar and type in ccleaner.com. Now you should be brought to this website and what you do from here you click on download scroll down and then click on download from filehippo.com and if you look to your right you'll see an icon that and it says download latest version click that save it run the inst the setup file and install it okay once the cleaner is installed go to wherever you saved it and open it now first we want to click on this brush icon so just click on that and for whoever uses Internet Explorer this is what you want to make sure is checked temporary internet files cookies recently typed URLs index.dat files and last download location now history is optional so if you want to save all the websites you you visited in the past then keep that unchecked now if you don't mind then you can keep that checked then if you have anything else checked under Windows Explorer or system keep them checked and then click on the applications tab now whoever uses Mozilla Firefox uh, this is what you want to make sure is checked cookies and internet cache now like I said history is optional so you choose whatever you want to keep whether it's download history or internet history now I don't mind so I'll just keep that checked and if you have anything else checked under applications internet uh, multimedia utilities or windows just keep that checked it won't hurt your computer at all and click run cleaner and it should take about a few minutes to complete and it should tell you that cleaner is complete and it'll just list a bunch of files that are unnecessary and a bunch of files that have been deleted and now once you're done with that click on registry to the left and make sure that all of the items are checked and then select scan for issues now you should see a bunch of files popping up and these are the files that are going to be removed whether it is because you know they take up too much space or they're just unused they haven't been used for a while so you might as well delete them alright so once it has reached hundred percent click fix selected issues and it should ask you do you want to back up changes to the registry just click yes and uh, just click on wherever you want to save it I'll select my, my documents because that's where I save all my files and name it whatever you want I like to sort things by the date so I'll just uh, type in 8.31.09 and then click save I highly recommend backing up your, your registry in case something happens alright so when you're done with that uh, you're pretty much done with CCleaner so you can close that alright so this concludes my tutorial I hope this helped and guys I want you to comment on my video because if it helped uh, please let me know and if you like my video then you then rate it if you don't like it then you can also rate it and please subscribe because that helps me and alright so thanks guys